I'm getting ahead by prepping my fluffy baked challah French toast. I'll start by making my custard. I'm gonna crack eight eggs into this big bowl. Next, I'm gonna add a cup and a half of whole milk. It is milk up here, M-E-L-K. My favorite part about this baked French toast is the ricotta in this mixture. It adds a freshness and a really beautiful, subtle sweetness. Now I'll add some vanilla extract, then just a pinch of salt, which will amp up all of my flavors. Ricotta always needs salt because it's so mild. Lastly, I'm gonna add some lemon zest. It's gonna add the perfect hint of tartness. Now I'll just whisk this together. It might still be a little grainy from the ricotta, but that's okay. This looks smooth and creamy, it's perfect. Now I'm gonna spice up some brown sugar, which is gonna go between the layers of the challah, and when it gets baked in the oven, it's gonna get caramelly. I'm starting with six tablespoons of brown sugar, and I'm gonna spice it up with some cinnamon and nutmeg and cardamom. And a little cardamom goes a long way. So I'm just adding a good pinch of that. And now some nutmeg. Nutmeg is woodsy and cozy. Now I'm ready to assemble. I have my egg mixture, my brown sugar mixture, and my challah. And that is going to soak right into my bread. And any leftover brown sugar, I'm gonna sprinkle on top down the middle. And now I'll cover this in foil. And put it in the fridge for a little beauty sleep while it soaks up all that goodness. And then tomorrow morning, I'll bake it. So I'll put my French toast in the oven covered at 350 degrees for 30 minutes and then remove the foil and let it cook for 15 more minutes. My challah baked French toast is looking great. Now I'm gonna top it with some blueberries. I've just heated up some frozen blueberries and they've released their juices, so they make almost like a really pretty sauce. I'm gonna add half a lemon. It'll add some nice tartness. And I'm just gonna spoon this over the top. Mmm, I love the way the blueberries fall down into the folds. And I'm gonna dust the top with powdered sugar. Yum. 